I'm Michaela Sapp, and I'm with my sister Madison, and we're going to read a poem. It's called Footprints in the Sand, and it's by Mary Stevenson. Mary, start. <laughs> One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with, with the Lord. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky, and each scene I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints, other times there were only one. This bothered me because I would notice that during the low periods of my life, when I was suffering from anguish, sorrow, or defeat, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said to the Lord, you promised me, Lord, that if I followed you, you would, you would walk with me, with me always. But I have noticed that during the most trying periods of my life, there has only been one set of footprints in the sand. Why? Why when I needed you the most? Why have? Why when I need you the most? Have you? Why you have not been there for me? The Lord, Lord replied. replied the, the years, years, the years <laughs> when you have seen only one set of footprints, my child, is when I carried you. Uh, Marvin didn't want to say anything today. He's, he's a child of few words today. But I want to say on behalf of, of myself and my children and my entire family, thank you all for being with us on today and for being such a support. You know, my faith is extended even the more today. I yet believe God. Mm. I preached a message a couple Sundays ago at the church. And when it got down to the low times, I sang a song every Sunday. It was a song I usually sing before I preach, falling in love with Jesus. But for the last six weeks, while I was going home and looking at my wife and watching her and still trying to prepare and taking the kids to school and canceling things, I would come in and I'd look at the congregation and I'd say these words before I preached every Sunday. I couldn't even fall asleep. There was so much on my mind. I was searching for that peace. But no peace I could not find. That's when I need time. Said, Lord, help me, please. He said, I don't have to cry. For I'll supply all your needs. As soon as I stop worrying, worrying how the story ends, I let go and I, I let go. Let God have his way. That's when things start happening. I stop looking at back the end. I let go and I let God. Let God have his way. Listen. So let go. Let God. 